Hello everyone, this is Helen Udegaard with Lightnings Ministries, and I wanted to share that picture with you, which I'm sure many of you have seen, of this winner, um, Rich Strike, of the Kentucky Derby, and how it shocked the world. This race shocked the world. This horse shocked the world. And there's so many prophetic insights to this race. You know, God is always speaking and God is moving. And many times the Lord, his, what he is doing by his spirit can manifest, can manifest in, in the world of sports where if there's attention being focused on the Super Bowl or other, uh, other uh, championship games, many times there can be that prophetic flow of the spirit upon those, uh, those games, those championships, and we can receive some insight as to what is happening in the realm of the spirit. So this race was amazing. One of the things that I, my, you know, what I took from it, and it's really easy to read, it really spiritually, is that um, checkmate is coming. Checkmate is coming. You know, when you play chess, when, when you get checkmated, it's usually something you don't really see coming. And there's, there's a move in, in chess called the King's Gambit. And it is a checkmate. And it usually takes the opponent by surprise. Well, that is what happened at this Kentucky Derby. The, the opponent was taken by surprise. That something unexpected happened. So I really believe prophetically where we are is that God is speaking and saying, hey, Church, stay in faith. Stay in faith. Stay in there praying, church. Stay in there and pray and contend. I'm working, even though you may not see I am, see what I'm doing in the natural. You've got to see by the eye of the Spirit. And you've got to keep praying and doing what the Word says. Stay in, stay in faith. Stay with the flow of the Spirit. Speak the Word. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Plead the blood. Because you know what? In America, we have a covenant. God has a covenant with this nation. This nation has a covenant with God. And it was, it was ordained from the foundation of this nation. I've shared that before. So we have something to grab onto. We have the covenant. We have the constitution. That gives him a right into this nation. And you know, at this time, there's such a, there's such a battle going on where it looks like Roe v. Wade is about to be overturned. Hallelujah. That is huge, and we'll talk about that another time. But what I want to share tonight is uh, I want to share a video clip by a prophetess by the name of Amanda Grace, and she received some phenomenal insights into this race and how God is speaking. God is speaking, and we should be listening. We should be encouraged, but we got to keep contending, and we got to keep pressing, and we got to keep praying and staying in faith, staying in there, church, stay in there, church. Let's, let's watch this and be encouraged in Jesus' name. Rich Strike was originally listed as an alternate, but he was added to the 20-horse field Friday morning when Ethereal Road was scratched by trainer. So basically, the only reason this horse got in this race is because another horse was scratched. Another horse was removed from the race which allowed them to put this horse in this race. In Reed's first derby training appearance, Shockey Sonny Leone guided Rich Strike from the back of the pack, approaching the final turn past favorite epicenter, past the favorite epicenter, along the rail down the stretch for the second biggest upset in the 148 year history of the first leg of the triple crown. We don't go out and buy the big horses, Reed said. We just try to have a good quality stable. We always perform well. Our percentages are always good. We take care of the horses first and the rest falls into place. Reed also noted his appreciation for several prominent trainers who supported him after the paddock fire six years earlier. I think that kept me going, Reed said. Then I just decided I wasn't going to let it take me out. Thank God we're here today. And that's how it ends. Then I just decided I wasn't going to let it take me out. 
thank God we're here today. Now, there is a lot of prophetic things in this article. I'm sure the New York Post wasn't going for prophetic when they wrote this, but there are certain um, phrases in here, the way it said, um, like they thought they had lost everything and and this horse was originally not supposed to race this race. And the only reason he got in is because another one scratched. And everyone's looking at Epicenter thinking Epicenter is the sure thing. Epicenter is the sure thing. He's sure to win this race. And what happens? This horse is put in when another horse has to be taken out. He is put into position to contend for greatness. This horse contended for greatness, okay? This horse was contending at that moment for greatness. He had 80 to one odds. And it was a matter if the jockey who knew this horse inside and out could contend with the horse, they could do it together for greatness in that hour. And they not only contended, they pushed and that horse ran the race of his lifetime uh, in this derby. And this is the hour of not only contending for greatness and seeing it happen, but of out of nowhere. This is the season of out of nowhere. Good and bad. You will see things happen out of nowhere. Some of them will look sad or upsetting or hurt you. But the Lord is doing it to literally pull you and protect you. So you're going to see these out of nowhere uh, circumstances arrive, not only in your lives, but in the nation. You're going to see something so incredible happen out of nowhere approaching 2024 because we've got an epicenter going on and everyone's looking at the epicenter. And you've got a rich strike that's coming up the ranks that nobody sees coming. Uh, I, his name too, the Lord, the Lord said, pay attention to the name of that horse, rich strike. I'm going to tell you somehow this name is going to come back up and what comes back out in the open. This name rich strike is going to come back up, but the way this race was run, by a horse that was never supposed to race, I think is a prophetic picture of what we're gonna see in the political arena happen not only in this nation, but in other nations. Normally the US and Israel run hand in hand. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the same thing run in tandem in US and Israel. But this race, Medina Spirit followed suit with the cheating, right? The horse ran the race. He won because the trainers cheated. The horse got something that gave him an advantage. He won the race by cheating and then stripped of his title, right? So let's look at the, the prophetic picture between last year's Kentucky Derby and this year's Kentucky Derby, okay? You got Medina Spirit. Medina Spirit wins, has a substance that is well over the legal limit. That apparently happened through a cream and he is stripped of his title because the trainers cheated, right? So he stripped of his title. Now, going into this year's race, Kentucky Derby. So Medina Spirit's stripped of his title and he dies. Rich Strike is coming up the ranks and nobody sees him coming. So after the Dean Spirit dies, you've got Rich Strike that's been coming up the ranks and nobody sees this horse coming. He was bought in a $30,000, um, uh, what to call it, a purse race. It's a race where you can buy the horse, basically. The horse is up for sale. And here he comes, coming up the ranks and nobody sees Rich Strike coming. I would even look for an incredible oil strike to happen uh in this season an incredible worldwide news oil strike also to happen in this season and that's just coming to me now praise the lord and you see him coming up the ranks and nobody sees him coming because of what happened last year to medina spirit and now everyone's got their eyes on epicenter thinking epicenter is the sure thing he is going to win he's got one of the best odds to win he uh, he won the louisiana 
and a derby and everyone's got their eyes on this horse except this horse doesn't have enough gas in him to make it to the finish line to beat this horse that he didn't even see coming the jockey on epicenter was not thinking about rich strike when he was running this race he might have been thinking about messier he might have been thinking about cyberknife there's a few you know, a few names of the horses in there but he certainly was not thinking about rich strike so the jockey for epicenter is not paying attention um to the fact that the jockey that's on rich strike knows how to ride a seamless race with this horse in the right conditions so epicenter just when everybody thinks epicenter is going to pull it off he's pulled to the front he's racing these racehorses go at almost 40 miles an hour i mean it is intense and it is fast and just as people think epicenter is going to pull this off he sputters out and rich strike flies by him flies by him in such a historic stunner that I think so many were in disbelief at what they were actually historically watching. So if this race was historic, most likely you're going to see a historic run happen in the political arena, okay? Because remember, everyone's eyes were on Epicenter. And Epicenter, right when he was going to go to the finish line, something happened. And the horse did not have enough gas to get there. And you had Rich Strike that came from the back of the pack that had the right jockey in the right circumstances at the right time to pull off the historic and almost the impossible because 80 to 1 odds is just incredible it is just incredible now some people are saying that rich strike has secretariat in his bloodline um and further back sea biscuit now if this is going to be a rerun of Secretariat, I think we are in for a treat. Um, so basically, what I'm saying is, in the political arena, some people may have something thinking it's a sure thing. And by watching this race, it's not a sure thing. Um, and this is why it takes prayer. Because this horse came out of nowhere. Another name of a horse is emerging uh, oh, another horse is emerging. Pay attention to the name. A rich strike. Watch for those names. Watch for those names to come out together. Watch for those names to come out in headlines and news stories. And watch for one of the most historic times we have ever seen occur in our nation happen now. Because this is the season of out of nowhere. This is the season of out of nowhere. Good and bad, out of nowhere it's going to come where people are going to be like, whoa, I didn't see that one coming. This is the season we're in right now. This is the season of out of nowhere. In your personal lives and in the political arena in this nation out of nowhere stunners historic jaw-dropping incredible we're going to see it in this season i promise you we will because i'm watching what happened between medina spirit last year and this year and it's making an entire picture it is painting an entire prophetic picture if you remember back when american pharaoh uh, won the triple crown, me and Barbara had discussed this on the phone and said, this is the indication right here that Obama wants to be the American Pharaoh and he's going to try to go for the triple crown one way or another. And we discussed that on the phone when it happened and watching it. So I'm watching between these these two races this year, one after the other, you know, Kentucky Derby, Kentucky Derby, and I'm watching the whole picture emerge. Horse wins by cheating. Medina Spirit, second holiest city in Islam, Spirit dies. Medina Spirit dies. I feel terrible that that horse died, and I'm a little suspicious why a three-year-old uh, supposedly healthy horse would die. Trainers are suspended for cheating. The trainers are the horses handlers the handlers are suspended as well for cheating and then this kentucky derby rich strike no one knew till the last minute he was in the race because one of the horses scratched 
He wasn't even supposed to be in the race. He wasn't supposed to be there. However, he was positioned there to contend for greatness, to contend for, you know, this incredible historic victory, to contend against Epicenter and some of the best horses in horse racing. And this horse came out of nowhere with this jockey seamlessly and beat them all. That says something. That says something right there. I'm telling you the season of out of nowhere where you're going to expect one thing and it's going to be another. You're going to expect one thing to happen and a jaw dropper is going to happen and the historic is going to happen. I am telling you, this is the season after watching these two back to back. I see it. Praise the Lord. It is happening. We are watching it happen.